What is going on guys? Welcome to your 36 chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be answering the question that I left you guys with last time and that is what do you get when you combine calcium chloride with silver nitrate? So for those of you who didn't make it to the end of the last tutorial I'll show you guys the problem. We have calcium chloride which is C I don't know if that's in my uh, let me make sure that's in my screen recorder C A C L 2 and we went ahead and we combined it with silver nitrate, two molecules of it. So we have 2AGNO3. Now I told you guys, I gave you guys the starting point already. You end up with calcium nitrate, which is written like CA. And let me go ahead and write my parentheses in a different color. NO3, and let me go ahead and change the blue real quick. Because when I write red parentheses, they kind of look like a C. So we have two of these, and I said, okay, find out what else we get. Pretty much find out what this thing is right here. So let me go ahead and talk you guys through how to solve this, and you guys can see if the answer you got match up with my answer. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, who knows. So I'm going to go ahead and balance this equation like I have before, write all of my chemicals. So we have calcium, we have chlorine, we have silver, we have nitrogen and oxygen. So now let's go ahead and count these up for the left hand side. Okay, I see one calcium, I see two chlorine atoms. Okay, for silver I have two, for nitrogen I have two, and for oxygen I have six. And that's because in this there are three, and again we have two of them, so that's how I get six. So now let's go ahead and figure it out for this side. So calcium, chlorine, silver, nitrogen, and oxygen. Remember, those are the chemicals that we have. The chemicals aren't going to change. They only change in a nuclear reaction. So since we know, don't know what this is yet, let's go ahead and figure out what we do know. So we have one calcium. We don't have any chlorine yet. We have no silver yet. And we have, let's see how many nitrogen. So we have NO3, and there's one nitrogen in here. And since we have two of them, we're going to say we have two nitrogens and since we have three oxygens in this molecule and we have two of those total we have six oxygen so we're gonna say okay what do we have that is missing well we have one calcium over here and one over here so they cancel out we have two nitrogens so they cancel out all of our oxygens cancel out so what do we have left we have two chlorines and two silvers so what we can do is we can write it like this, Ag2Cl2. However, the preferred way is to kind of, uh, what's it called, not cancel everything out, but like the lowest common denominator, you know, whatever, the, whatever that's called. So typically how people write it is 2AgCl. So we pretty much have uh, two of this molecule right here. So that is the final answer. So there you go. Hopefully now you understand what these parentheses mean. Pretty much take everything in here and times it by this is how many of them you have. And that is how you find out the missing molecule and how many of them you have whenever you're trying to balance chemical reactions. So if you got that question, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Maybe I'm moving too fast. Maybe I'm not. So uh, anyways, that's how you do double displacement reactions and balanced chemical reactions using them. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.